I was watching uh, the Republican debates and they're sitting here trying to make me cry for people in, in Ukraine. I, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Have you looked around America yet? Do you really think that this is what the people at home are going to respond to, perpetually telling them that they have to care about another nation more than their own backyards, that they should be caring more about what's happening in Ukraine and Chris Christie trying to pitch it and you know Pence trying to pitch it and Nikki Haley. You know, we need to be the police officers of the world when we can't even police her. We can do both. No, we obviously can't. Like, have you walked down the streets of Los Angeles? Have you walked down New York? We clearly, obviously can't do both, right? And so having, I think, that the courage to stand on something that doesn't feel establishment popular or mainstream media popular, but that you understand is what people are actually feeling. And, you know, I'm very much a person that from the very beginning has said, F Ukraine, you know, I stand on that. And I, I would have said it if I was in the debate stage. With Putin, obviously, the worst thing that we could have possibly done, which is what's happening now, is folded him further into the arms of the East, okay? Putin should be a natural ally with the West. We have been pushing this fake Cold War for way too long, okay? We're not in the 60s anymore, okay? Putin is not trying to rebuild Soviet Union. It's completely ridiculous to think that Russia is the biggest threat. This is just the mainstream media simulation. It's going to be just like the Soviet Union, whereas we're the ones that are actually pushing further into that territory. I mean, it's complete delusion. We're the ones that is putting NATO on everybody's border and pushing and inching further after we gave promises that we wouldn't do that, that we would not expand one inch eastward, okay? So we're just not being honest about what it is that's even happening over there. We're not being honest about the corruption and the laundromat that Ukraine is. And this has nothing to do with caring about Ukrainian soldiers. If you if you actually bought that narrative that they're worried about the Soviet Union expansion, you're absolutely wrong. You, you know, they-